In most cases, NHL players become better with age, but in today's video, we're going to be talking about a couple of players who had their best and most efficient years in their rookie season, so let's jump right into the video. Peter Mueller was a very high profile prospect who played his junior career with the Everett Silvertips of the WHL. The Arizona Coyotes selected Mueller with the 8th overall pick in the 2006 NHL Draft. After one year of playing junior, he made his NHL debut in the 2007 season as a 19 year old kid. He would play alongside Shane Doan in his prime and Radom Verbata which are very good line mates to start out with in your rookie season. Mueller looked like a future franchise player for the Coyotes as he finished his rookie season scoring 54 points which was third on the team behind Verbata and Doan in scoring. Unfortunately, Mueller would struggle the following season and finish the year with just 36 points in the 09-10 season would not treat him any better as he went on to finish the year with just 17 points in 54 games. He was then dealt to the Colorado Avalanche along with Kevin Porter in exchange for Woltek Wolski in a move that many thought would revitalize Peter Mueller's career. It worked briefly as he would score 20 points in 15 games with the Avs near the end of the season, but just two years later, Mueller would find himself out of the NHL and playing professionally in Switzerland. He attempted an NHL comeback with the Boston Bruins that only ever got as far as the AHL, and Mueller currently is playing professional hockey in Austria. After putting up 106 points in his final year for the Red Deer Rebels of the WHL, the Edmonton Oilers would select Ryan Nugent Hopkins with one of their many number one overall picks from the past decade, and he would not disappoint as in his rookie season he would go on to post 52 points in only 62 games, but he would then struggle the following year finishing with only 4 goals and 20 assists in 40 games. He was even sent down to the American Hockey League for 19 games in an effort to try and gain some confidence back. Nugent Hopkins would then go on to post back-to-back 56-point -back seasons for a terrible Oilers team, which are solid numbers, but not as efficient as his rookie season. His role with the team and his ice time has diminished greatly since the prodigy Connor McDavid has arrived. It now seems unlikely that Ryan Nugent Hopkins will ever reach his full potential or ever break the 60 point mark unless he is traded, which seems like a move that could really benefit Nugent Hopkins career at this point because playing for the Edmonton Oilers who have a guy that is arguably the best player in the NHL, you're never going to be the number one center there. Michael Grabner is still a very useful and effective player for contending teams, but it's very unlikely that he will ever equal his amazing rookie season. Blessed with blazing speed, the Austrian-born winger and Vancouver Canucks first round draft pick was traded to the New York Islanders in 2010 after playing just 20 games with the Canucks, which still qualified him as a rookie for the 2010-11 season. That season, Grabner scored a team-high 34 goals for the Islanders and added 18 assists for a total of 52 points and it looked like the Islanders had their next guy to go along with John Tavares. He has never been known as a playmaker so he had to rely on his speed and and that to create space so he could score goals for himself. In the following years, Grabner would put up goal totals of just 20, 16, 12, 8, and 9 before having an amazing bounce back season with the New York Rangers posting 27 goals. And Grabner still does play a very big role for the New Jersey Devils as they are really trying to become a contending team. And Michael Grabner can still be a solid NHL player, but he will never duplicate the rookie season that he had. Brian Burrard was a first overall selection made in the 1995 NHL entry draft by the Ottawa Senators and you would think any young kid being taken first overall would just be excited to play for any NHL team. But that was not the case for Burrard. He did not play a single game with the Ottawa Senators organization as he demanded a trade and was sent to the New York Islanders in a trade that would send Wade Redden and Damian Rhodes to the Senators in exchange for Burrard, Martin Straka and Don Beaupre. In Burrard's rookie season, he scored 8 goals and added 40 assists. The 48 points he put up would end up being his career high. Burrard put up 46 points the following year and put up 47 as a member of the Chicago Blackhawks in the 03-04 season. Brian Burrard had tremendous promise as a young player. But in the 2000 season, he caught a stick in the eye from Marion Hossa in an event that would not only change the outlook of his career, but this would change his life. He was left partially blind and it seemed as though he would never play an NHL game again. 
He missed the entire 2001 season, but he made his return to the NHL just one year later in the 0102 season. So this is a very inspirational story of a guy that was partially blinded by a stick to the eye, but he would make his return to the NHL. But this injury did definitely set back his career and take away a lot of the potential that he once had as a promising young player who was once a number one overall draft pick. So that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy and I hope you don't mind the NHL 18 gameplay in the background instead of some highlight clips because the NHL has been copywriting all my videos and this way they won't be able to do that. So I hope you guys don't mind that. If you do, let me know down in the comment section. I can probably just try and go back to uploading the highlights, but hopefully you guys don't mind. And yeah, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a very fun one to make. Let me know if you guys think I missed anyone who peaked in their rookie season. So I hope you all did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more hockey videos like this every single day and I'll see you guys in the next video.